Thanks, Mark. What's up, everybody? Um, yeah, I've just been relentless recently, um, and it's only because the striper fishing has turned on, and I have limited time to go after them. So I was here the, yesterday evening, landed that striper. So amazing casting into boils. It's so much fun. Um, and uh, I got some uh, intel that yesterday morning they were boiling really well in a certain part of the lake. So I am gonna, I'm back again. You know, very little sleep once again. But man, the, the, the shot at another epic striper day, like last year I had maybe three of them, is just, it's too good to pass up, man. You know, throwing into giant boils, you know, that last a long time. I mean, there's just nothing better than that. It's, it's, I mean, it's what I do this for. So I'm so excited to get back out there. This will probably be my last chance to fish for the next few days before a big trip I got planned coming up next week. An epic fishing adventure with my dad, cross country, hitting numerous, uh, great lakes so not the great lakes but numerous great lakes so uh yeah that's what's going on next week i got a, a major trip going on and uh lots of uh lots of uh video coming your way and hopefully lots of good fish all right i'm gonna be on the water very shortly see you soon like i said yesterday you gotta have good vision and luck. So I'm hoping I get lucky. I just, I'm seeing some isolated hits, a couple striper, but mostly bass on top. So nothing yet, but I, I just have a good feeling. It's a little bit of a chop on the water. There's obviously some top water stuff going on. I'm seeing the little glass minnows flying out into the air. So come on, cross your fingers. I get on a big striper boil for a, for a little while and land a couple. <laughs> this beauty. He's oh, there's one. <laughs> little guy, little schoolie, but look at them all, look at them all down there, nice fit. little guy well I gotta say that was as exciting as advertised chasing boils uh, this other guy in the bass boat helped me out on catching one he was because they were small they were it was just a small uh, tight uh, group of little fish and I didn't even see him and he pointed them out so I went over cast and got one it was pretty cool I actually saw them, they started on that point behind me and it just looked like a couple of isolated little fish or bass or something. And then uh, it grew into a bigger boil. So keep an eye on those small isolated splashes because they could end up turning into a big boil. That's usually how they start anyway. And it was a decent sized school, but mostly little fish. So we chased them all the way across the lake for a good distance. So I'm back to where I started in the shade and I'm hoping that they'll come back here because last year, they, they came up here and it, they just erupted all around me in this cove. So I'm hoping that, you know, they circle back around or another school pops up here, a bigger one, uh, and I get a couple more because, I mean, I'm already happy, you know, chasing boils and getting a couple on top is just amazing. So uh, I'm hoping that they come back up over here.
Nice little guy. Well, I was gonna call it a day, but on my way out of that cove, I saw the striper boils, so I've been chasing them with these other two boats, and nothing, man. They're coming up kind of far away each time. They last like 10 seconds, 20 seconds, and then they're back down, so they're kind of tough to get on top of. I had a couple of chasers, you know, following my bait and stuff, so they're they're there and they're doing what they need to do, just not lasting long enough for me to uh, get on to them, but whatever. I'll probably hang out for a few more minutes, see if I can see another one, and then that'll be it. Cannot connect. Damn it. Striper keep boiling in this spot, so everybody's getting ready. But for whatever reason, they're not biting. It popped up just over here, but by the time I got over here, they were already done. Oh, there they are, there they are, there they are. He's trying, he's trying. Come on, he's trying. Yeah, missed him. He's trying, he's trying. Oh. All right, guys. I think I'm gonna close it out now. Um, so, obviously early morning, late evening, that last hour before the, you know, they kick you off the lake, and the first maybe two hours of the day are always the prime time, but as you saw today, I mean, they were boiling for hours up until about nine or so. And uh, I've had days where they're boiling all day or they didn't get started until 10 a.m. Or maybe I just was on the wrong side of the lake and by 10 a.m. I was on the right side of the lake. Either way, obviously early morning, late evening is best, but they, they boil all over the place and pretty much all day, you never know when. So uh, that's it for me. That's the last tip I got for you for striper fishing. I cannot wait to get back out here. Don't know if I will. Got a big trip coming up. Lots of fishing coming up too. Hopefully lots of good fish. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.